I'd like to show you in this video how to put the wire in and stuff the hair. The first thing to do would be to measure roughly how much wire you need. So for here I'd say 52 inches. So cut that off and just got a small sample here because it's difficult on the table. Um, there's a couple of ways you can cover the wire. Now this one I just bought from my local hardware store and it's not quite thick enough so I've doubled it for extra strength. Um, if you make up a tube like this out of scrap fabric you can just pop that in there quite easily and secure with a bit of masking tape. in places as you go along because otherwise it will twist around and that gives it a bit more um, protection so that's quite a nice uh, finish. So that's one way you can do it. Um, I have tried just masking tape on its own but it's it's not enough, it doesn't give it any protection. And the other way, one the way I've um, used it on all of mine, is with a scraps of fabric sewn together very roughly and then um, wrapped around the wire. So just start it off and put in an elastic band. And then you can twist that over as well. And then just start wrapping it round. If you leave that on the table and work your way around, that actually gives a very nice um, bit of protection for the wire, for the fabric, and it also takes up a bit of the stuffing that you otherwise might you need. So I've completed the wrapping of the wire, and now, and it's roughly shaped to the head, we pop that inside and then start to stuff the head and obviously you want to try and get the stuffing um, on the outside of that wire so you don't want it to cut, touch the uh, fabric otherwise you'll feel it through there so just a little bit of stuffing in the nose and around the head You can feel the wire there and just get the stuffing to go on the outside of it, but you need the wire to be fairly close to the outside anyway. You just have to feel your way around there. The head is something that you, you well, it all needs to be stuffed pretty well, but of course you can lot, do a lot of patching on the head and doing the face and attaching the ears, so it does need to be really quite firm. See, I can feel, you can see the wire there, but you just want to have something, some wadding on the outer edge of it so that it's not so obvious. So don't go too far down the neck before you've got the head done, because once you're halfway down the body, it, it's not going to be easy to think, oh well I need a bit more stuffing, so work on the head and take your time to get that just right. But I'll carry on and do that and come back in a short while. I've stuffed my hair now and got to the base. You can still stuff a bit more whilst we um, close the space, the base anyway. But cut out, um, cut a piece of wire the circumference. It allows for about three inches to overlap to do the base. So you want to take the circumference from about there. Wrap the wire and then pop it inside the base. And where the wire on the base has kind of overlapped, you can close that if you want to make the base a bit smaller. 
and then a little bit of finagling going on here but what you need to do is to wrap the wire that's come down from the body around the base wire so that it makes it nice and secure So that's the back, the back one done. And then do the same with the front wire. And then you need to get that wire of the base straight so that your hair will stand up. And at this point you can decide whether you want it to be an upright hair or go slightly forward, in which case you'd adjust that base ring accordingly. Um, once you've got it roughly the way you, you like it, and you, you will need to put more wadding behind that base ring as you can see where there's gaps there now but um, carry on with the wadding to fill the base and make that a, a nice sort of edge there messing around with this bit to get it to look nice but it's worth taking the extra effort and then once you're happy that you've got enough stuffing in there you can draw the ends closed and put some pins in there to hold it in place and then we're going to stitch around the edge so that the wire is secured to the shell fabric and then we can close this properly but it's easier to do the uh, stitch around the wire first so that that's secure and then the stuffing can be pushed back in and then close the gap. So complete, to complete this stage, what I've done is to run around there, just tack that wire in place. So I've gone over the wire and through some of the wadding. And then stuffed a little bit more in there to make this um, edge neat and well stuffed. And then just closed the base. And that's, that's just until you put the base um, card or board, whatever you use, to go on the base. So that will look better obviously when it's done. But that's now ready for doing your patches. If you're a beginner, I would say start on the body and maybe do the face last. Um, although some people have done it the other way around. But um, I would get used to doing the patching on the body first. Bear in mind that this part of the body, your legs are going to be attached to. So don't use anything that's got a particularly hard backing to it like an upholstery that's got that fire protective backing because then that would make it very difficult to attach your legs and also the front legs go in this sort of area as well um, so easy fabrics where you're doing perhaps the face and the eyes um, and these leg attachments um, otherwise um, anything really perhaps we'll have a look at that in the next video Just one thing I'd like to mention, if you're thinking of using your hair as a doorstop, you just might want to have a little bit of extra weight in it. A um, couple of ways you can do that. I just used a sandwich bag, double bag actually, 
and put an amount of sand in, probably build it up like that. And that I found was quite enough at the base of the body. Or another time I've used a pebble or stone. Um, and that at the base of the body again is quite is quite heavy. If you just be careful though, whatever you use, even if you stuff it with old rags instead of wadding, be careful that that area around there is going to be where you put your needle through to touch the hind legs and if you've got anything in the way obviously that might make it more difficult. Rags is particularly hard to, to get through.